Hello, dear friends. It's the week of Wednesday, October 30th, and I thank you for viewing this. This video, uh, I'm going to be talking primarily about next week, which of course is a big week for the Anglican Network in Canada, as it's our Synod Week, and this year it's happening at St. Peter's and St. Paul's in Ottawa. Actually, last Sunday, October 27th, it was my joy to be with Canon Brent Stiller and the people of St. Peter and St. Paul's as they celebrated the renewal of their building, having completed their first major phase of their building renovations. And it's a, just a joy. And we're, as a diocese, going to be enjoying the benefits of their generosity and hard work and labor, uh, which has now been completed at, for phase one. Well, uh, just some things to think about. If you're in the Ottawa area bef uh, for the weekend, November 1 and 2, there is a Christian apologetics conference called Dig and Delve. It's happening at the Bronson Center, featuring a lot of great speakers, including our own Canon George Sinclair. So that's something to know about. Sunday, November 3rd, don't forget our clocks fall back. You get an extra hour of sleep. That's a good thing. Monday, November 4th, a lot of clergy will be traveling to Ottawa, but the bishops and uh, archdeacons will be meeting in Ottawa, St. Peter's and St. Paul's. On Tuesday, November 5th, will be our clergy day, <coughs> and uh, uh, we'll be featuring Archbishop Bob Duncan, our first primate of the ACNA, and also the man, more than any other person, who's been key to the drafting of our new prayer book, BCP 2019, which he'll be addressing in two major addresses at our clergy day. We're very grateful for that. Wednesday, November 6th, is the beginning of our synod proper, which will begin with <clears throat> uh, morning prayer and then declaring of synod open uh, and then a presentation by Archdeacon Paul Charbonneau on life as it's seen throughout the Bible. Uh, and then uh, we go into our workshops, which were all about the five priorities, which we pound away at. We continue to uh, work away at those. Uh, and so that's, uh, and then on Wednesday evening, the Synod Opening Eucharist, we call it Opening Eucharist, even although we will have already had a day together. Uh, and it will be, uh, uh, among other things, we're featuring my charge, the charge of the bishop. It will also feature the renewal of ordination vows by all our clergy and the blessing of oils, which our clergy use for blessing and uh, anointing for healing. Um, so that's the Wednesday night. Thursday morning will feature, and Friday morning, the Reverend Dr. Jim Saladin. We're thrilled to have him back in Annick. He's now in, in New York, but he was ordained deacon and priest in Vancouver in Annick, and so we claim him as our own, and he'll be teaching on Colossians. Our Synod will be making its way through, including many things, including, for instance, the Harvest Task Force, follow up to our last Synod. Uh, and then uh, the Friday uh, final Eucharist will have Bishop Andy Lines. So that's the broad strokes. Well, the, the theme, of course, is Colossians 1, 28 and 29, which is him we proclaim, speaking of Jesus, warning everyone and teaching everyone with all wisdom that we may present everyone mature in Christ. For this I toil, Paul says, struggling with all his energy, that he powerfully works within me, Colossians 1, 28 and 29. Dear friends, there will not be a video post by me next week, but we're really hoping that many of the major pres presentations of Synod will be posted as soon as we can afterwards. We hope during the week, uh, but we won't know that for sure until next week. Uh, I just wanted to end by saying, I always end by saying, search the scriptures daily and every opportunity, open your mouth and speak about Jesus. Uh, that's not only from Acts 8, but did you know it's a very Anglican idea as well? Uh, we do morning prayer every morning, and uh, uh, my wife and I, and I begin with the invitatory where it's, I say, O oh Lord, open our lips, and she responds, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. That's the way we begin every morning prayer. Dear friends, search the scriptures daily and every opportunity, open your mouth and speak about Jesus. God bless you this week and please pray for us all week in the coming week. Thank you so much.